Hey guys, in the last video we created the new view for our org companies and we stopped at uh, needing to write the company fields layout. So if you haven't already, I want you to make that file under layouts with the underscore company fields to show that this is a layout that could be shared amongst different views. So let's move over to our company fields.html.erb. So what we want to do first is we want to define our fields for or contacts and why am I able to use this contacts? Well, if we look here, we have org company dot org contacts dot build. Um, this was an underscore in the last video and that produced an error. So the real code is dot. So company or contacts dot build. We did an org contacts new attribute that kind of creates a new object. Imagine you're making an application form for this company. So we have a big company at McDonald's and it wants to have five different locations. Well, it will need five different application forms that or address forms that shows where these locations are. So we're going to save that in a contact info variable and we're going to do org or company org contacts build to build this to build this application form and make it attached to company. So that's why we are able to to do this fields for our contacts in this case. So next thing I want to go through is contact. We're going to add a field contact uh, dot text field address one. Now you're, you're, you might be thinking we're, we're working on org companies but how come you can use address one? Well that's again based on this org contacts. Now we have access to all the fields within org contacts. So org contacts if you look at the contact fields.html.erb that we made, it has access to all these fields. So we're actually just collecting information for the contacts, for the contacts model that is connected to the company's model. Because if you look at contacts or contact.rb, you see that contact uh, or contact belongs to org company. And if again, if you look at org company.rb, you can see that org company has and belongs to many or contacts. So that's why we could do that in this case. And at this point you might wanna you might wanna pause the video and make some more fields. Try to guess what kind of fields that we need if I'm a company collecting information for 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 one of his stores. So we might need the address to field, we might need the city field, the type countries field is something that we also need. Um, so this will create a drop down to allow the, the user to pick what country they're in. Uh, regions field again makes a drop down to for them to select what region they're in. Um, we would also need a postal code or a zip code if you're in the states, business number, um, a cell number if they have one. And thinking ahead, I would also want to have a hidden field for their email just so I could grab their email, um, make it handy like that. Um, just know that like email is a pretty unique thing in the world, so it's likely to be unique. Um, other than that, I think we are good for this file. And so we could go over and go over to our browser actually and see how this works out. So I would want to go to localhost org or slash org register. And there you go, there's your page. And at this point, you might be wondering, you might, you will definitely run into an error because um, well, I want to let you figure out why you're running into an error. Um, it has something to do with your routes. Remember, you just made a new company controller and you haven't really registered it yet in your routes. So why don't you just go ahead and do that. And, um, and I want you to figure out how I made it to to make a call for org register when our company is actually called org companies. So a little a little bit of homework exercises for you. Um, the answers would be in the zip file attached to this video. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.